with the EAC pushing for long-term development driven by the region's private sector. Dr. Mathuki's appointment is being seen as a step in the right direction. The nomination or appointment of Dr. Mathuki uh, as the Secretary General of the East African Community comes with a lot of uh, delight from us. We are most uh, grateful. We are more, we're very happy. We're excited about it. Dr. Matuki is conversant with every aspect of business in the region that we have been dealing with and we're still dealing with. He's familiar with the obstacles, the non-tariff barriers that have been an obstacle. He knows how many they are. He knows where they are. He knows which ones were solved. He knows which ones have not been solved. And as part of his daily activities as the Secretary General, his duty includes to uh, remove, to, to work very hard to remove the non-tariff barriers that exist in the region. So for that matter, we have hope, a lot of hope, that this time around, things are going to move uh, in the right direction, at the right pace, because he knows. He knows it. He has the energy. He has the drive. He has the will to take this region to where it should be. He understands what regional integration is, and we, we understand him. We know he's better at work. We know his enthusiasm. And we are really, very really thankful to the region, to the regional heads of state for giving him this position. And we pledge to support him to take the business uh, activities where they should be. Economic experts have noted that the Secretary General has some serious issues he must address as quickly as possible. The first thing that he has to address, and almost immediately, is funding. At least more than half of the member states have not been submitting the funding for the community. So the budget is trained and all those others. So in his role as the SEC general, we expect that he reach out to these nations and they should be able to regularize their accounts and fund the community. Uh, maybe something else is uh, among the agendas is I think by end of next year, we should have the common currency. That's a target for him and as well the integration of uh, the Africa Free Trade Agreement, because it also touches members of the East African community. Via a phone call, Dr. Peter Mathuki told us that he is grateful to have been appointed to the position of EAC Secretary General, and indeed he does have a few things he intends to begin working on as soon as possible. First and foremost, I thank the EAC heads of state and members of the summit for their trust, confidence, and faith when trusting me with the responsibility of steering the ESC Secretariat going forward. I'll do my best, and I know that confidently the guidance that I'll be getting from the members of the summit and the cooperation from the members of the Council of Ministers and, of course, the teamwork by the ESC Secretariat will make us uh, quickly rebuild the confidence of our community, which I think it's important. But again, as you see the treaty establishing the East African community, the spirit is people-centric, but again, private sector-led. And therefore, I would expect private sector will be critical and important pillar of driving this regional integration agenda forward. And I think, uh, strategically speaking, it's important that a strong collaboration between the government and private sector is underlined as a strategy, particularly during this uh, pandemic, so that quickly we can recover, um, our economies can recover, and again, take advantage of the opportunity, opportunities that we see in the continent. One of, I think, key priority areas will be trying to fast track admission of DRC into the ESC community. That is a market that we all need to take advantage of. And I think in line with the directives of the heads of states, that should be a priority area. Rwanda's private sector has also expressed confidence in Dr. Mathuki's abilities to lead the EAC secretariat. And in a message to us, the CEO of Rwanda's private sector federation, Stephen Ruzibiza, said they wish him all the best in his new responsibilities and hope that being a fellow businessman, he will see the need to ease trade in the region moving forward.